Hello everyone, this is Prerna. Today we are going to solve exercise 7.5 from the textbook of CBSC Board NCIT Mathematics of Grade 6. So let's start. Exercise 7.5. Here this is the first question. Write these fractions appropriately as additions or subtractions. Okay. So here they have given some pictures. Now here in the first one they have given some rectangles with 5 parts and in the first rectangle the one part is shaded here two parts are shaded and here three parts are shaded okay. So we have to check which uh, operations they have uh, performed here okay. So the first one we will write the fractions. So for the first one the fraction is 1 upon 5 because out of 5 parts, one part is shaded. In the second rectangle, two parts are shaded out of 5 parts. And in the answer, they have given that three parts are shaded out of 5 parts. Okay. First one rule, I'll tell you that while adding or subtracting, if the denominators are same, then we have to keep the denominator as it is. And just numerators we have to use for the operations. Like if we have to add, then we have to add only the numerator numbers, not the denominators numbers. Denominator numbers we have to keep as it is. And if we have to subtract, then also we have to just subtract the numerator numbers and the denominator numbers we have to keep as it is. Okay. Now here to get 3, we have to add these two numbers, right? 1 plus 2 will give you 3. But if we do, uh, do subtraction, we will not get the answer as 3. Therefore, here they have performed the addition operation. Okay? So here the plus sign will come. Now in the second one, they have given some circles with 5 parts. Okay? So first we will write the fractions for them. So first circle, all the parts are shaded, therefore the fraction will be 5 upon 5. And here in the second circle, we have 3 parts shaded out of 5 parts. And here we have 2 parts shaded out of 5 parts. Now the denominator is kept as it is, right? Now when we subtract 3 from 5, 5 minus 3 will give you the answer as 2. Therefore here the operation is subtraction. Okay? So here the minus sign will come. Now in the sec third one, we have rectangles with six circles and some circles are shaded. So in the first one, there are two circles are shaded. Therefore, the fraction will be here 2 upon 6. Here three circles are shaded. Therefore, 3 upon 6. And here we have five circles shaded. Therefore, 5 upon 6. Now, when we, uh, here again denominator is kept as it is and if we add 2 plus 3, we will give you the answer as 5. Therefore, we have to do here addition operation. Okay, so here the plus sign will come. Understood? Now, let's move to the second question. Now, see here, we have to solve these uh, fractions. Okay. So here in the first one, as I told you that we have to keep the denominator as it is. Therefore, we will keep 18 as it is and here the plus sign is given. Therefore, we have to add the numerators. So 1 plus 1 will give you 2 upon 18. Okay. Now, uh, just writing this much is not enough. We have to uh, keep that answer in the simplest form. Now, as you, if you look at the um, fraction here, 2 upon 18, you will understand that 2 and 18 are multiple of 2, right? Therefore, we have to divide this fraction by 2. You can directly divide as CM. 2 upon, uh, 2 ones are 2 and 2 nines are 18. So the simplest form of 2 upon 18 is 1 upon 9. Okay. Now the, in the second um, second one, we have 15 as denominators. So we have to keep it as it is. And we have to just add this numerators. 8 plus 3 will give you the answer as 11 upon 15. Now already this fraction is in the simplest form because 11 and 15 are not the multiples of any one number. So it will remain as it is. Now in the third one, 
we have again denominator same so 7 will remain as it is now 7 minus 5 will give you the answer as 2 upon 7 again the this fraction is also in the simplest form so it will remain as it is now in the fourth one again we have the denominator same so just add the numerator 1 plus 21 will give you 22 upon 22 now 22 and 22 are of the multiple of 22 so we will cut them 22 ones are 22 and 22 ones are 22 okay so 1 upon 1 is equal to again 1 okay now in this one we have subtraction sign and with the denominator same so just subtract the numerator part so 12 minus 7 is equal to 5 upon 15 now you all know that 5 and 15 are the multiple of 5 so let's cut them by 5 5 ones are 5 and 5 threes are 15 okay so the simplest form of this fraction is 1 upon 3 now in the f1 we have again denominator same and we have plus sign so we have to add the numerators 5 plus 3 will give you 8 upon 8 as you all know 8 is um, in multiple of 8 so we will cut them by 8 8 ones are 8 and 8 ones are 8 so 1 upon 1 is equal to 1 okay now here see here, 1 minus 2 upon 3 now 1 can be written as 3 upon 3 because see here 22 upon 22 can be written as 1 8 upon 8 can be written as 1 so we can write 1 as 3 upon 3 okay just we have to keep in mind that numerator and denominator number should be same okay and why here they have taken 3 upon 3 only because we need denominator same and here denominator is 3 so this will become as 3 upon 3 minus 2 upon 3 3 now denominator is same and we have minus sign so the answer will be 1 upon 3 okay now here again we have denominator same and we have plus sign as you all know 1 plus 0 will give you 1 upon 4 okay now here this one is different see here we can't write 3 as 3 upon 3 we can't write 3 as anything as we wrote here 1 is equal to 3 upon 3 just you know that here which trick you have to use is that we need denominator same okay and you all know that 3 can be written as 3 upon 1 okay so this uh, question we can write it as 3 upon 1 and 12 upon 5 and in between minus sign okay but here we don't have a denominator same so we will convert this fraction as with a denominator 5 how we can convert we can multiply this fraction by 5 to get denominator as 5 so 3 upon 1 can be multiplied with 5 so that we got it as 5 3 is a 15 upon 5 now let's take this one minus 12 upon 5 now we got same denominator so the answer will be 3 upon 5 okay now let's move to the next question that is third one shubham painted 2 upon 3 of the wall space in his room his sister madhavi helped and painted 1 upon 3 of the wall space how much did they paint together okay so they have told here how much they how much did they paint together so together means we have to add these two fractions so first we will write the given shubham painted 2 upon 3 and um, madhavi painted 1 upon 3 so let's add these two fractions together they painted 2 upon 3 plus 1 upon 3 so as we have both the denominators same so just add the numerators 3 upon 3 means is equal to 1 right because 3 ones are 3 3 ones are 3 1 upon 1 is equal to 1 means together they paint a full wall okay now let's move to the next question that is fourth one fill in the missing fractions okay so here some tricks you have to use 
so the first one we have that 7 upon 10 minus something is it gives you the answer as 3 upon 10 okay so for that you should know is um i'll take here one example here i am taking that 9 minus 7 is equal to 2 see here in between we have minus sign here also we have minus sign now just we have to find this one okay we have to find this number now you have 9 minus 7 is equal to 2 to get 7 what you are going to do you have to if you do 9 minus 2 you will get the answer as 7 right so same way we have to subtract this answer part 3 upon 10 from this 7 upon 10 you, we will get the answer uh, in the missing part okay so how first we have to take 7 upon 10 minus 3 upon 10 then what we will get uh, denominator is same so we have to keep 10 as it is 7 minus 3 will give you the answer as 4 upon 10 so in the answer part we have to write 4 upon 10 but as it is not in the simplest form you have to cut them so 2 2 is 4 and 2 5 is 10 so 2 upon 5 is the answer but you write here 4 upon 10 okay so this is the answer now in the next one here we have to find this number right now here we have to find the first number <coughs> what you are going to do if we uh, add 7 plus 2 you will get the answer as 9 right so here again what we will do we will add these two fractions to get the answer for the first fraction okay so 5 upon 21 plus 3 upon 21 will give you the answer as 8 upon 21 and this is the answer okay now in the c part same again here as we did in the second part same way we have to do in the third part that is 3 upon 6 plus 3 upon 6 will give you the answer as 6 upon 6 okay so the answer for this is also 1 but we will write 6 upon 6 in the answer part okay you can write 1 also there is no problem but you have to show the um, solution okay now in the here we have plus sign in between so let's take one more example here i am taking 5 plus 2 is equal to 7 now to get this 5 we have to find this 5 right so to find 5 what we will do we will subtract this 2 from this answer part then we will get the answer as 5 because 7 minus 2 will give you 5 right so same way we will subtract this 5 upon 27 from this 12 upon 27 so 12 upon 27 minus 5 upon 27 will give you the answer as 7 upon 27 okay now let's move to the next question that is fifth one javed was given 5 upon 7 of a basket of oranges okay of a basket of oranges means out of one basket he gave 5 upon 7 okay so what fraction of oranges was left in the basket so for this we have to subtract this 5 upon 7 from 1 okay uh, 1 means we can take it as 7 upon 7 and uh, we have to subtract this 5 upon 7 from this 7 upon 7 then we will get the answer as 2 upon 7 means the fraction of oranges left in the basket is 2 upon 7 so here the exercise 7.5 aims if you like my teaching then please subscribe to my channel bye everyone